It's a clash of cultures. As today, firstly, we check in with Nijisanji English's Vox Akuma. Oh, no, wait, that's not him. That's an imposter account shilling Billy Billy comics. This is Vox Akuma, Nijisanji English's demon from the past, who over this past weekend was playing a cooperative game with Nijisanji English's Sonny Briscoe when the trash talking began. Let's go ahead and take a listen. No! Sonny Briscoe, your mom's a whore. Excuse me. Me? What did you say about my mom? So yes, once again, that was Vox saying, Sonny Briscoe, your mom is a hoe, which turned out to be a very offensive statement to a number of overseas viewers. As the subject of insulting one other's mother is a grave offense, as numerous Vox supporters and others would go on to quote retweet him or reply to any post he made, such as Vox. Vox, after you get 1 million kindreds, I thought you changed a lot, and I hope you could officially apologize to Sonny and his mother for your offensive words yesterday. I trust you a lot, but you have changed a lot now. That quite let me down. Vox, you need to apologize to Sonny. You did something wrong. I see many people on the internet are condemning you. I am sad. We all love you, and I hope you can apologize to Sonny. Please apologize to Sonny. I think you should give Sonny a serious apology, Vox. We love you very much, but what you did this time is really inappropriate. Insulting someone's mother or something is the most annoying thing. And these comments continued on and on, including on the Chinese streaming platform Billy Billy, where Vox does have an official account and does stream on from time to time. With numerous comments on there telling him to graduate. This then leading to responses on stream from both Sunny and Vox. Let's take a listen. I've got two messages, two messages here about Vox uh, insulting my mother yesterday. It's just a joke, guys. It's okay. We just, uh, you know, it's not a problem, and if it was a problem, that the, you know, the listeners don't need to worry about that. So please don't message me about these things. Thank you. Appreciate the super, sir. And because people have brought it up, I'm just going to clarify something. I did have a talk with Sonny, and he wasn't offended by my fucking joke at all. Uh, because in our culture, it's not something offensive to say. It's just a silly little piece of mindless banter that a lot of people from both the UK, Australia, and just general Western countries don't really think twice about. I understand why some people might have been offended by it, but Sonny was definitely not offended by it. He knew I was joking, and he knew I was joking because we're friends. You never know what's going on behind the scenes, and if Sonny was genuinely upset with me, he would have told me. But he didn't, because he didn't give a shit, alright? That's, like, I understand that it's rude, but in our culture, there's literally a YouTube channel called Yo Mama, where the entire point is to make jokes about someone's mum. Just because I said, Yo Mom's a ho, I was quoting a vine. There's a vine where a dude gets hit in the head with a piece of paper. He says, whoever threw that paper, Yo Mom's a ho. Hey, what you say? I said, whoever threw that paper, Yo Mom's a ho. That's literally all I was saying. I was quoting a vine, and I don't blame people for being a little upset with me, but I was just trying to be- I was just trying to be funny, and it made me feel pretty sad that people were that upset, but I promise you, I was in no way trying to make a comment about Sonny's real-life mother. I would feel terrible. I'm sure she's a wonderful woman, but at the end of the day, I don't know her, and so I would never make a comment about it. Yeah, and I'm glad people can clarify that it's f***ing normal in Australia too, because I think in a lot of ways Australian and British culture is pretty similar in a lot of ways. There are probably differences, but I think that we have a pretty similar sense of humor. And so there you have it, Vox's statement on Sonny's mother, who we can also personally attest is a very fine woman. And next up, we're turning over to Hall Live Production. Coming to us with hashtag Hall Live Ian Rust. Whose point of view will you pick? Why not open six windows? As yes, if you're looking for some options, well, we hope you like the game Rust, as both Hall Live Japan and others in Hall Live English are playing quite a lot of it lately. Turning us now to the Hall Live subreddit in this post that received a lot of popular support and numerous fans agreeing, saying they need to just disable chat entirely when they stream Rust next season it's getting ridiculous. With this post saying, even with the streamers repeatedly and explicitly saying to stop stream sniping and stop giving info, the chats are literally filled with it. It's so bad that it's actually impacting the streamer's abilities to even have fun. With Muna even outright saying she won't do player versus player in Rust because the fan bases would attack her and adding Ame has had to go on a rant about how she's trying to do her own thing. And the nice thing about Rust is that it's an open world, so she doesn't have to play with the others. As 
numerous users agreed, saying most of the Japanese talents have recently swapped to members only chats for this reason. Works pretty well. Kind of surprised EN hasn't done it yet. Chat spamming the code to Fubuki's base in Gura's chat for five straight minutes was a whole new level of stupid. Along with the chats have been far the worst part of the Rust experience, which is sad because it's so cool seeing Nene and Mume run into each other as they would rarely, if ever, otherwise in other situations. And lastly, it was the same with Minecraft, where people would constantly go to other streams to tell the streamer about pranks. And they even tried to be very smart witty about it, such as, quote, I smell a rabbit approaching, which made it even more cringe. And there now has already been a reaction with Hall Live English's Nina My Eninus, streaming Rust at this very moment while we're recording, addressing the problems in chat and setting it to members only mode. But one extreme enjoyer of the game right now is Hall Live English's Nanashi Mume. Seen here in this Rust artwork with her trusty guitar. That coming by way of Kudaran saying love and peace in Rust. Echoing an iconic moment wherein Mume peered into the window of Shiragane Noel's house and instead of shooting one another, the two began playing their guitars with one another. Illustrated here by Jazz Jack and animated here by Ami, giving us even more love and peace. Jinoage also has this in store. No, this is not 2D, this is actually 3D. With this model being created for Miku Miku Dance and animated with some of the preset movements here. And uh-oh, we have breaking news. This is major, people. It has happened again. Yes, yet another Niji Sanji English member has sent a tweet message to Nanashi Mume. This being in reply to the Forgotten Song, a cover video by Mume, with Niji Sanji English's Finana Ryugu saying beautiful. Uh-oh, this is going to kick off a whole storm. Oh, no, wait. Mume just replied with thank you. Yeah, that was it. That's that's all that happened. Okay, well, uh, moving on to Heikos Bells. Another Hollow Council member featured on this Itasha in this work entitled the Heikos Inn. Also slipping into this Thongs illustration with this one entitled Flip Flop. We now have Bay's schedule for the week with her saying one year. Yes, later tonight, we have the Hollow Council one-year anniversary collab. And then later this week, Bay will have her own one-year anniversary celebration with a cover release, as we are expecting the Hollow Council talents to celebrate at different times after the collab tonight. This while Hollow Live English has just had a brand new debut, that being for Mr. Squeaks, a stream that did have to be delayed by a little bit, with Bay saying Ian Law, but it's a debut, so hello, we starting. In what was certainly not at all Bay with a voice change, Changer. Mr. Squeaks later would go to her account to say, Hello, this is Mr. Squeaks. Thank you all for tuning into my debut stream. I suppose it went smoothly. And of course, this Mr. now has fan art with Snow Mia showing us Lord Squeakers and Zania animating Mr. Squeaks and Bay. Next up with Hall Live Indonesia, we have Pavolia Rainey creating a Twitter space for a cooking session with Kobo Kanaru, who had been staying the night with her, with their session shown off here, that being a midnight snack by Fuyurin. And while while Kobo had made a few voice tweets saying that Rainy had stolen her special pillow, Rainy herself would update us, the child is still asleep. A child that can also be seen illustrated here. That coming from Uproar member Izaki Gama, uploading his speed painting process to YouTube. All while we have another Hollow Stars member, that being Regis Altair, further teasing Kobo today, showing off their opposing scores and saying, get good Kobo, leading to her to reply and accuse him of editing this work. A grave accusation. This coming after Kobo herself had assaulted Altair. Evidenced here in this work from Mr. U, who went on to show the aftermath, letting us know fake demon lord has been defeated. And now very quickly with Hall Live Japan, we have Momozuzu Naneshi, fresh off her Orange Star music video, and letting us know this morning she has a brand new sub account, one that has been marked with potentially sensitive content. You can see the goods at underscore Naneshi Dayo. That while Nene also has tweeted out in English, I feel like looking at photos from all over the world. Can you share a few of the memorable photos you all have taken? And now we have a very exciting update from the very popular fan game Hollow Cure. With this free game promising a brand new major update coming on September 9th, including the addition of not only the Hall Live Gamers Gen, but also Hall Live Gen Zero. A major surprise with the lead creative content creator Kayo tweeting never said gamers was the only gen for this update. Only four new characters 
characters for an update? I said, nah, get that out of here. Other updates will include controller support and finally an auto updater, meaning no more manual downloads necessary. And best of all, that's girl Rubico has noticed. Meanwhile, with Nijisanji English, we're noticing Selen Tatsuki receiving this artwork from Lucrezia Bond for 500,000 YouTube subscribers, saying thank you for everything. You are the best purple dragon, and I can't wait to see the new outfit. That being a part of the long-awaited outfit reveal for Obsidia, as Selen has provided this prediction silhouette. And we have many predictions out there, including these from Pose, and this almost delinquent look offered up by Skiyo. That all while we also have Nijisanji English's Homo Rain Puff, animated here by Toriko, saying, I'm not nervous at all, and whose made outfit version has been recreated and fully 3D printed, with its creator Cole saying, I was originally intending this to be done for Pomo's birthday, but LOL, and then going on to show each individual piece for this 3D figure. A figure that could also be seen in this collaboration with Selene, with Pomo doubling up her model, chopping off the head, and then tossing Selene's on, leading to some very nice Selene made styled fan work, like that by Kami Noodles. And then we had March showing us just how this Selene model was created, complete with a very elegant decapitation. Selene and Pomo would also address this interesting phenomenon, that being bots that pick up comments made by Nijisanji members within YouTube chats. So for instance, we have this with Pomo Rainpop saying in Selene Tatsuki's chat, this is a bot. This bot practice being a little strange to the Nijisanji livers, having once been acknowledged by Mr. Rias, who in his bio saying, I stream, I am VTuber, I am cringe, and perfectly and accurately represented here. Once again, dropping his nuggies, but also celebrating 900,000 subscribers on YouTube.com, saying it happened, hashtag 900k mistakes. This while Mr. would also share, I got ID'd for a monster energy, and of course receiving a baby boy from Vox. Mr. is soon to hit 1 million followers on Twitter.com, with another member of Niji Sanji, that being Salome, now hitting that number two. Yes, once again, it's the very elegant lady of Niji Sanji, represented here by Watabe Seeds, who was set to celebrate on Twitter.com, but making one particular error, apologizing that she was at 9 million followers instead of 900,000. Also very quickly with Niji Sanji English, we have Renzoto, the deadly alien prince that can be seen alongside his other wave mates, with Ilya giving us this Doki Doki Maid Club version of the three. Or if you're going a little more grown up, Jen's here with the horny boys. Do you get it? Because they have horns on their heads. But I mean, also the way they talk sometimes is, okay, well, you get it. This all while Ren is celebrating channel memberships now opening, saying, welcome to the alienation. Enjoy your new emotes, channel badges, and more on YouTube. And very quickly, we're checking in with Virtual Real, the Chinese branch for Niji Sanji, soon promising three brand new members and announcing one graduation, that being Virtual Real Project ninth wave member Kiora, with her graduation set for October 15th, and as a very nice send-off, we'll be receiving Nijisanji 3.0 model upgrades before the graduation, with her account being left up, but there is the chance that some videos could be removed. And now we're moving and grooving with Vishojo's Project Melody. Science team leader saying, get up, I want waffles, and surprising many with this collab. Tweeting, hey guys, I got invited to a pool party. You guys can join, but you gotta promise not to be weird, or she'll find I am too. That's right, it's as Usada Pakora with with Hall Live Japan says, the sexy lady, that being Twitch.tv's Amaranth, who to our knowledge, never stops streaming. This did lead to some pushback in the VTuber community, but afterwards, Melody saying, I had so much fun tonight, gosh darn it. After I got through my profound nerves, it was awesome getting to meet the lovely Amaranth. She was funny and kind and sexy and a <laughs> frick. I had a delightful night, I hope you guys did too. And we're back with the delinquent boss, Vishojo's Kason, with her Kason pop-up store now announcing merchandise is now available for overseas fans, leading to her to say, I took this picture myself because they didn't have it. Let little Socho snuggle in your bed, please. This all coming on the same day as the Geary's Kitchen collab, complete with this point of view from Onibro. That being THE Onibro, who now has their own Twitch.tv channel and is sometimes free enough from Onigiri to even achieve affiliate and aiming for partner next. Further with Vishojo, yes, it's Iron Mouse, bringing us this brand new schedule for the week and letting us know the next guest on Speak of the Devil will be Jessica Negri. Many wondering if this very popular cosplayer is on the road to becoming a VTuber herself. And here now we have the artist with the brand new Speak of the Devil opening, that being 
Soso, giving us high definition shots of the brand new animation and other big events, recreating one of the biggest shocks that ever hit the scene. That of course being Iron Mouse's face reveal. As it turns out, she's actually an affable young man living in Japan and creator of the Abroad in Japan YouTube channel. And also sometimes puts up with Connor, also known as Sea Dog VA, saying it's been a few days since the charity auction, but I just wanted to say a massive thank you guys for helping me raise $55,000 for the Immune Deficiency Foundation. And of course, receiving a very warm thank you, Connor, from Mouse. A mouse who can also be seen in this upcoming work, originally designed by Epibi, as we also have more coming from Rosuri, with Mouse showing off even more of the references here. And that's not all the previews of V Shoujo we've seen, as turning now to V Yugen's Daya Riku. She's now taking the stream to show one of Natasha Nyaner's upcoming looks. That while Riku herself would say, me? Nervous? Nah. As today, Riku had a brand new look herself, not only with a killer new logo and casino slash gambler theme. Yes, welcome to the new boss, complete with a wonderful new background, that being by the very same artist as our background, and with Riku saying, art and rig by me, outfit rendering by Viugan's Uni. Yes, Riku once again showing that her own imagination is her only limit, and saying further, I'm so tired and happy, I love you. And lastly, we're showing the love for Cody, our upcoming co-host for Things VTubers Say, who will be joining Heidi on September 1st as the two are set to debut with our fine young android friend saying going to the pool, who's coming? And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch and we'll have more Things VTubers Say for you soon.